This is Hillbillies in the Bush, and uh, for the last five days I have been salt curing and sugar curing with salt, curing salts and brown sugar, uh, two chunks of loin, deer loin that is, and uh, what I got now is I've taken all the, uh, the flavorizing bars and the grill out of my propane gas grill here, and uh, I've taken and put in my skillet down in that we used to cook with and uh, I got just a little bit of smoke that's one piece of apple one piece of hickory and uh, up there they are on a piece of ash plank that I've wetted down I didn't want to uh, get a lot of heat here in fact that may flame up but uh, it's a pretty much a cold heat when I put the uh, lid down it's going to go back out and uh, I just want to have uh, just a nice smokiness going there and a little bit of coals there. Hopefully it won't get above 170, something like that. But uh, as you can see, I took all the stuff out of here. And I want to try and use this as a smoker. So after about, oh, I don't know, 10 hours or so, we'll check it and see how it's doing. See you after a bit. Okay, I'm back. As you can tell, there's a little bit of a difference here. Uh, I forgot to film the rest of this, but as it turns out, it worked out in my favor because uh, I did not get uh, the smoke that I wanted on it. And so this time, I just uh, I got put it back in here today. As you can tell, the wind's blowing real hard. Uh, but I got some brown sugar that I mixed up real with just a touch of water, just enough to make it a little bit liquidy, and I got it uh, on the meat, and that's going to cure and keep curing prior to day, and hopefully this time I can... Uh, get the rest of this. Uh, when I get her finished I'll uh, take a short vid and slice into it and show you guys what it looks like. But as you can see we finally got some snow here in Ohio. Uh, but uh, I'll just see if I can't uh, continue doing this today and then get back with you. See you later. Okay I'm back. Uh, as you can see uh, we've already been uh, taste testing this piece here. It was about as big as this one here. Uh, this stuff here is it it's it's got its own unique uh, flavor. Uh, I did salt it, but you can see it's kind of trans translucent a little bit. Mmm, that's very good. Got brown sugar on it, and it smoked up real good. Uh, it's still a little bit moist, or the outside's a little bit wet. I'm gonna let that air air um, dry and. Uh, We'll probably see how that uh, does in a few days. Uh, I don't think I'm going to refrigerate this. I'm going to leave it out. And uh, once it hardens on the outside, I believe that will protect it. And it's already been, like say, salt cured and sugar cured. And this little piece right here, these here ain't going to, they're just not going to make it. They're, they're going to get eaten probably as soon as I turn this camera off. But uh, now, like I said, I, this was kind of like a two-part thing. I forgot to film the ending of it yesterday. So, um, what I did, and I didn't like the way it was smoked, right? So, I did, it wasn't smoked long enough. So, I went back out and uh, re-smoked it today. And that's what you've seen outside. And then, uh, uh, added some sugar to it. But, in, but before I took it back out and put it on, I did soak it in water. Uh, it, we tried a little piece yesterday. It was just too briny. So, or for my taste. Uh, and I didn't realize that the salt, just putting it on the outside, would shoot clear through to the center of this chunk of meat, you know, because a pretty thick chunk of meat, but I guess they do hams that way, so, you know. But, uh, anyway, it tastes real good. Uh, after I soaked it in water, I went ahead and patted it all dry, put a sugar cure on it, and then took it back out, and it's been out in the smoke for another three hours or four hours today. But, uh, I think it's where I want it. Uh, it's real good, and uh, it actually got real tender. Uh, as you can see, it just falls apart. But uh, so that's my first time some, uh, uh, salt curing and sugar curing meat, and I honestly believe that uh, I might be pulling some more out of the freezer, some bigger chunks that we got for roasts, and uh, curing them up as well. Cause 
if this here will set out without refrigeration, refrigeration and it tastes as good as it does. Now you, we can eat it just about like jerky uh, or uh, since it does have some salt in it, you could throw it in your rice or beans or whatever, you know, and add a little salt to your, to your, uh, whatever you're cooking it in. But uh, turned out real good, I thought, and I'm real pleased with it. Um, like I say, it's my first time, but uh, so that's uh, that's my video on doing uh, salt cured and smoked meat. I, I'll try it on. I'm gonna try some uh, pork loin sometime when I catch it on sale. I'm gonna cut me off a big hunk of pork loin and try it like that, and see how well it turns out. But uh, uh, the temperature did get up to probably 165, 170 on the inside. So I'm not. Uh, at one point, I was trying to adjust my grill and just couldn't get it figured out right. And I finally, at the end, I figured out how to do it, which is par for the course, I guess. But it'll it'll work great next time. So until then, uh, this is Hillbilly in the Bush, and thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see y'all later.